Hello everybody, I'm Dare Tabbers. This is your Euro Truck Simulator 2 Mod Spotlight. Today we have something a little bit different. I don't usually do these kind of things. I usually do standalone trucks, standalone trailers. This is not a skin, but it is an alteration to an in-game truck. Let's go to truck dealers. To Scania. Um, yeah, let's go to Hanover. Let's, yeah, let's just go to Hanover. All right, here we are in Hanover. Here's an R. Uh, I don't, I honestly don't know the difference between an R and um, a streamline. Streamline looks streamlined. An R looks streamlined, but whatever. We're gonna customize a configuration. So it's a decent looking rig like this. Now let's go to the cabs. So usually you have normal, high line, and top line. But we now have, with normal, we have a tuned normal. And you'll notice it kind of changes a little bit on the interior. It doesn't seem to be much more than that, honestly, at this point. Kind of a cleaner look. Okay, great. So we've got a tuned cab. So what, you say? Well, let's go to the chassis. Now, 4x2. We have a 4x2 low. So notice we're lowering the truck, slamming it. Okay, we have a tuned 4x2. Notice the changes there. You get exhaust here. It also changes a little bit on the front. Okay, we have a 4x2 V8 low, tuned 4x2 V8. Okay, so we have the 6x2, we 6x2 4. Okay, we have the 6x2 4 low, 6x2 4 low, so just different adjustments there. Various tune pieces. We have some V8s. We have the the ones with the lift on them. We've got big old four uh, eight by four slash four shorts. Uh, we've got longs when you want a long. We've got all the way up at the top end is they tuned eight by six slash stroke for long V8. So that's, look at that thing. That is huge. Now in engines, you've got the normal engines and then it goes all the way up. I think this might actually be the straight 730 horsepower. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't driven Scania's in game very much. Um, I usually stick to, well, honestly modded trucks, so Maybe the engine is not changed. Transmission certainly isn't changed. Put the R on there. Interior. Huh. We have standard, standard UK, standard UK, Vabis. So look at that. So we have standard, which is, which is what I drive. And we have standard Vabis, which has a, changes the wheel, right? So now we have exclusive and we have exclusive Vabis, which adds the wheel. But that's not where the, it ends. We have Streamline V8, Streamline V8 Vabis. Exclusive, uh, that's UK, sorry. <laughs> we have Streamline V8 Red. I don't know what the difference between Red and, and anything else honestly is, but here's Holtz V8, look at that. And Chrome Holtz Red, oh, never mind. I found where the red is. Yep, sweet. So we can go all the way up to this thing, which has that Vabis wheel. I don't like the Vabis wheel, honestly, so we're gonna go with that. But it's got that nice, like, wooden texture, really sweet texturation on there. Coloration, well, we have whatever, poached ivory. We have mint, uh, cherry blossom metallic. We have mint metallic. We have wizardry metallic, warm. We got spring green. Maybe we'll just put this color on for no other reason than I feel like it. Go. Cool. Accessories. Oh my gosh, there are accessories. So up here, we've got whip antennas until the cows come home. Let's do that. We have beacons, which are, you know, important. We have our light bar, but that's not it. We've got, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at all that stuff. Oh no, even more. Then we got light bars with dividendums on it. We've got light bars with things on it. And then we have the normal stuff. Um, let's go with, oh, I don't know. Let's go with this. 
So then it gives us all these accessory slots. We're putting all kinds of accessories on here. I'm not gonna put a bunch of stuff on here. Not necessarily because it's a problem, but because I'm just like, what do I do with all this stuff? But I could, up here, put a nice roar up there. Maybe we put a couple of roars on this truck. What do you think? Maybe. There's some tones. But we're gonna we're gonna just go with the roar. We're gonna put some roar up there. Actually, let's get rid of that really quick. Can I do something a little bit differently with this? Yes, okay, good. Now I can put the roar up there without it looking really strange. Cool. Then here along the front, can I put, oh yeah, look at that. Put a couple of lights up here. Kind of like that. Like so. Cool, now what is on the side here? Even more. And now I wouldn't want to put that on there. So this is where you can put stuff anywhere you want, all over this truck. Even on the on the on the wing mirrors, if you so desired. All right, so that's way. That's okay. Let's see if I can find. Good grief! There's so many dots, though, that it becomes um, a bit of a challenge. What's this? Aha! Can I put? Did you guys give me anything stock custom? No. No, I think that's Ranger. Oh, look at that. Ranger says Scania Va uh, Vabis. But we're not driving a Vabis truck. Yeah, let's go with that. Actually, you know, let's go with the stock V type. <laughs> Now I gotta try to figure out how to get, okay, that's, let's get that. Now, sun visor, Gardasin, what the heck is that? Oh, okay, that's stuff that's on the interior. So that's one thing that drives me crazy. When they put the interior buttons on the outside, it's like, guys, you're making it really hard for me to see what I need to click on for the exterior stuff. Front glass. Oh, I can tint my glass, huh? Let's go with 50% tint, maybe. Yeah, that looks good. Now, what's this? Looks like a little button of some sort. You guys probably know what that is more than me. Um, oh, that's some sort of tray that's now on the interior. I don't want that. Um, what's this? Ah, a little, a little grill on the bottom. Chromed. A little something I don't know what it is but there you go slot oh my lord no 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 <laughs> what's this silver grill v8 grill black v8 grill painted v8 grill let's go with painted v8 grill uh do you have anything different on here there's a twister let's just put a vortex on there because I want to body grill oh look at that pretty slick there's that and there's that but now nah, I think we're gonna go with body grill and painted grill down there just to make this truck look wicked let's put some ninja plates on there what's this LED oh look at that so you can put LED along the side of the truck um, light chrome red so I can put like red LEDs along the side of my rig. This is insanity, I tell you. What they really need is a copy to the other side function so that what I'm doing on one side just gets moved to the other side. I think stuff like that would be helpful. There are so many buttons to push, so many things to find on this truck. All right, so that's all that. There are door handles. We have paint, plastic, chrome. No, paint. Yeah, we want paint. I want to make this as like purpley colored as I can. Paint. Nice, okay. Now I'm trying to see what I have not clicked on yet. What's this? Lollipop, what's the lollipop? Oh, the lollipop hangs down from there. Okay, that would make sense why it's called a lollipop then. Um, that's there. What is this? Stock V8, V8 with exhaust. OK, 
Okay. So then this must be my exhaust. Where's my exhaust going? Oh, there. No, we want that one. What are you? Backlights. Big lights. Chrome lights. Just go with backlights. Oh. So this puts a bunch of lights on there. Yeah, I don't really like that. We're going to get rid of that because it just doesn't change much. What's this? Back LEDs. Oh, my. No, thank you. Wow. What was this? Oh, the tower. Tower bright. Tower dark. Ah. Tower V8. Panel 5. <laughs> nice, I guess. Um, I need to put a stack on this side. What's back here? Ah. Oh, we can put some... Um... Oh, yeah. Nice big paint or chrome. We're going to go with paint... And then you can put more things here and I'm not going to bother because I don't feel like it. And then we can put our cool Absolute Fury because it's absolutely Fury. Look at that. It's wicked. Okay, now let's go in the interior and see if we can deal with some of this interior stuff. Oh my gosh, all the exterior stuff shows up on the interior. Oh, that is a pain in the butt. Um, no, I don't want a Christmas tree. Do I want fuzzy dice? I don't think I really want fuzzy dice. But I think we'll put some in anyway. Let's go with green. That's the glass. So what's the one right next to it? Wimple. Cross. Wimple. I don't care about that stuff. All right. So I have a sticker there. What is that? That's the lollipop. What's this? Oh, look at that. It's a nice tray. Oh, now I can put the laptop with navigation. Um, nope, not that. Sweet. So does that add? Oh, coffee. Oh, I can have a coffee maker. Yeah, I can make myself more coffee, more coffee, more coffee. I can make myself, ooh, teddy bear. No. Penguin, eh. Whatever that is, no. Glasses, a tree. Um, let's put a, let's put a, penguin thing okay I think I think we've kitted this truck up there is our truck <laughs> this truck is insane this truck is also 381,576 let's confirm it that is insane let's trade in our Mercedes towards this thing Thank you. Oh my goodness, this truck is massive. This is going to be insane. I'm bad enough driving small trucks. That is, it is nice looking though. I will give it that much. Nice chrome paint on there. Laptop, our little penguin. We got our penguin in there. Nice. Little exhaust pipes on the side and exhaust pipes on the back because you can never have too much exhaust. It's a true story. You have like 30 exhaust pipes, that's okay. <laughs> turn that off, turn that off. All right. I can't look too far that way. I can look that way. It's like three miles back to the back. We have a nice double GPS and coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. All right, let's put the sucker in gear. And it is like the silent running truck. Okay, we gotta fix that. All right, there, I turned it up some. Here we go, here is our truck in the beautiful daylight here in wherever we are. I don't remember what city we're in, but we're in a city. Oops. And there is our truck. Our big old Scania. German driver, it says on the back. I'm not German. Thank you very much. Wow. Where's my horn? Awesome. I can make a song. Or not. I'm sure you'd rather I not. Okay. Cool, cool. I think we can I think we can roll with this thing. I don't need that now. I mean, it's like 
Don't even need that. All right, let's get a job. <laughs> we spent $300,000 on a crazy truck. Let's get a job. Where are we? We are in Hanover. Uh, what are we going to haul? Where are we going to haul it to? Let's go short run. Can use an insane truck to drive up the Kiel. 25 ton gondola. Gondola. Oh, look, we can drive it, drive in a little bird or a BMP3. Actually, it's not a bad drive. Uh, da, 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 da. Or we can always take the cat, the giant cat. To Birmingham. Um, let's just take the office items to Kia. Oh, it expires in four minutes. Fine. We'll take this to Berlin. We'll take some beef to Berlin. Let's go. Let's make it a thing. I've just noticed my GPS didn't update. Fine. Oh, because it's like across the street. All right. Hi, cars. You're just gonna stop now because I'm driving a monster truck. That's that's how we're gonna roll now. <laughs> Cars now yield to me. Because there's no reason for me to stop. That's just the way it rolls. It's almost like I have a trailer on the back of the truck already. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see what we can pick up here. Urge. Um, oh, we can actually get our office items. Distance-wise, I don't think it matters. All right, so let's just take the beef. Where's the beef? Right in front of me. Okay, cool. Turn this truck around. Turn it around. All right, now you got to back this thing up. Gotta remember, we're like three miles long here. Now we could haul just about anything with this truck, I think. I think if we put some of that heavy military equipment on here, the truck would just go, huh? Hmm. Would help if I uh, clutch the truck <laughs> before I shift. Prevents it from stalling. Just saying. All right, let's pull this out. Stop. Yeah, that doesn't look silly at all. The truck is like basically the length of the trailer. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Um, there, turn on all the lights. Okay, we got the lights on now. Oh, look at that. Look at that LED strip on the side. That is nice. That is beautiful. Yeah, we got the awesome rig. Now, oh, the lollipops don't blink. I was hoping the lollipops would blink. That is one big truck. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Let's make like a rock and roll. <laughs> let's uh, also get our screen up. There we go. I can now see what's going on over there. Thankfully, both my GPSs are now working. Semi, do not go. I am going right now. All right. Whoa, hello truck. Come on. Nope. Now we're in eighth gear and we have to stop. Dang it. <laughs> I kept pressing the wrong buttons. There's four buttons on the, the uh, G27 that are right above the shifter. There's four red buttons. And I kept hitting the, um, the right two. The left two are my low and high range. So, yeah. 700 horsepower on the move with a bunch of beef. We are, we are beef riders. We are beef riders away. Oh, those cars are probably gonna cause problems for me. All right. Just kind of lope along here. Getting terrible FPS. Now, why am I getting terrible FPS? I think it has everything to do with that stupid reflection happening in the uh, in the 
mirror, the visor. Ah, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Don't put reflections in the visors, people. If you're a mod author, do not put reflections in the visors. That causes problems for machines. For whatever reason, the ETS uh, engine doesn't handle it very well. Which is insane, given the graphics card I have. Whew. Ah, well. So don't put a visor is the moral of this story. Um, I'm going to go over here now. And you're not going to do anything about it back there, car. All right, I'll catch you guys in, uh, where are we going? Crap. I don't know where we're going, but wherever we're going, I'll catch you guys. Oh, Berlin, I think. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in Berlin or thereabouts. See if anything goes terribly wrong with this truck other than my driving or the penguin on the dash. All right, well, we made it into Berlin. Delivery point is uh, just up the road here. I turn here. Let's get a better view. No, I should turn at the next stoplight. All right. The truck runs fine. I mean, it's a Scania. Scania is a Scania. This thing runs just fine. It does definitely feel bigger. Though it's not like, it's not like the Kenworth W900 long, that big giant American rig. It's not the same as that one. Like that one, that one's long, but it feels, it feels miles longer than it actually is. Now, granted it is probably longer, I'm willing to wager it is longer than this truck, uh, the W900 long, but it's not, it's not a, um, the trucks are in the similar league. These are kind of trucks that if you are tired of driving the same old rigs, rigs of not great size, really. These are the kind of rigs that you'd want. Um, they're certainly large. They're, they have some challenges with maneuvering them. Now, thankfully, they both have uh, enough power that it's not impossible to maneuver them. It's not like some. Go, that's actually what I wanted, believe it or not. Allows me to, to line everybody up a little bit. Uh, is that what I want? Yeah, that's what I want. Makes it easier for me. Now I need to look the other direction because I can't look out the window and back a truck up. I just can't. I don't know why, but it just doesn't work for me. Here we go. For me, I've got to be in the truck. It's just easier. Look at that. Perfect. And beef is delivered. <laughs> All right. So this tuning pack, it's the Scania Mega Store or Mega Pack. I mean, it adds a lot of stuff. You're looking at a massive amount of things added to your game in a single mod. It's a lot like Jazzy Cat's mods. I know that there's other mega packs out there. As I find them for this new version of Steam, of, um, of Euro Truck, I might look at them. This one being a Scania, I just had to look at. Everybody loves Scanias. Honestly, guys, I don't know why you all love Scanias. I'm more of an American truck person, I guess, because I'm just like, yeah, but a Kenworth W900 isn't a bad rig, but whatever. The link to this is in the description as always. 
I've been Derek Tevers. This has been your Eurotruck Simulator 2 mod spotlight of the Scania Mega Pack. Till next time, happy trucking, everybody.